you, you excited about playing your former club for the first time? Yeah, it is. It's exciting. Uh, a little bit nervous, but you know, I've, obviously, I love the boys. Um, but you know, once we cross the white line, it's game time, and I'm really looking forward to it. What are the emotions? It would be mixed emotions, I assume. It is. I spoke to Sam Jacobs um, about you know his week building into it, and he just said, "Man, he was excited. He, he couldn't wait for the opportunity, and he knew it was going to come. The boys are going to get stuck into him, so." Yeah, I'll just prepare like any other week and, and go into the game and hopefully we'll get the win. How do you think the fans will treat you? Do you think they'll treat you okay? Uh, that's a good question because I'm pretty close with, with the uh, cheer squad. Um, you know, they used to cheer, chant my name, but uh, you never know, you know. If you, if you get the ball, they might give you booze, but we'll see what happens. I'll just get on with the game of footy. Did that hurt you? Nah, nah, not really. I don't really care. I don't really care if they do me. Um, you know, I'll just get on with, with the game. Do you think it would be easier if you had left Carlton with a bit of sort of animosity or a bit of hatred? It would be easier to go back if you hated the guys? <laughs> nah, not really. Um, like I said, they're all still, still my best mates. Yeah. And when we crossed, like I had Mitch Robinson staying at home on the weekend. He's, he's pretty gutted because he's, he's out for two weeks for on report. And he wanted to play because he said he was going to bash me. But <laughs> you know, I said, I wish he was playing. We would have got stuck into it. But not really. I just want to go and... Um, Get a win. And who will get you ready, do you reckon? Like, who, you, who did you used to get on internal trials or you know, doing those drills? Um, I played on Yaz a little bit, uh, Zach Tui. Um, but I'm pretty sure uh, Zach will come to me. But if Yaz comes, uh, I'll take the challenge and, and get stuck into him. And you could did he live with Chris Yaron, didn't you, for a while? Is that right? Yeah, well, when he first moved over, yeah. him and uh, Jeffy Garlett. And yeah. then him and Jeffy got a house together. And then Yaz uh, moved out by himself. But where the three of us are pretty close and it's going to be pretty interesting. We expect a bit of banter if you boys have to go head to head. Yeah, there'll be a lot of banter. I mean, uh, we won't we won't be you know fun and games out there. We'll be we'll, we'll be we'll be pretty serious. And once once the game's finished, then we'll be brothers again. So will they target you? You think physically at all? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to expect to be honest. I'm just I'm just excited to uh, to play against them. And if they target me, they target me. Um, you know we got Big Tex and J Pod and JJ down there that could back me up. So. Looking forward to it. Does Eddie, the game mean more to you than, than other games, just given what's at stake playing against your old team? Uh, in a way, it does. Um, well, it's just another game, but you know, uh, played there nine years, a life member. I still got a lot of friends um, with the staff and players and, and fans. So, you know, it's one of those games you go into, you think, ah, uh, I don't want to play against them, but I'll, but you know. We got to, we're going there for the win, and uh, hopefully we'll come away with it. Eddie, you've got 12 goals this year. How have you rated your season personally so far? Um, I coming over, I you know expect myself to to do more, but you know I'm I'm happy the way I'm playing. Uh, the coaches have already spoken to me; and they're happy the way I'm playing. As long as I'm tackling, setting up goals, and and holding our Ford 50 with our young Charlie Cameron down there. Um, We'll, we'll, we'll stay in the team. And it seems like you two have got a great bond together already. That was a great little partnership you had going. <laughs> yeah, young Charlie. Um, I, I said before, he reminds me of, of a young Jeffrey Garlett. Um, he's super quick. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind if he, he lines up on Yaz because I reckon he would probably be the only one that could catch Yaz at, <laughs> at, at our team. So he's, he's pretty good. Um, he's been pretty good the last week, training well and, and getting back on the track. You know, he's, he had a lot of um, guys come up to him and, and say, you know, what a great game. And, and all the media too uh, are getting a hold of him. So he's kept his cool and, and, you know, hopefully he'll play a good one this week. So he's the sort of guy that would sort of take that in his stride, that sort of that praise, and he just gets on with things? Or well, well, we're trying to um, coach him that. Just, uh, just you know, forget about what, what's going on outside of footy and concentrate um, on the game and, and get yourself head right. And, and we've got another game to play and uh, it's against, against the baggers, so hopefully we can go and get a win. When you said you wanted to do, well, you sort of thought you might do a little bit more when you came over, what do you mean, just more goals or...? Yeah, well, you know, obviously I've been um, averaging uh, 50 to 40, 40 goals, and I'm only on uh, 12, as you said, so you'd like to kick uh, goals in games, but if you can't, then if you're dishing them off and laying tackles, you know, the coaches are happy with that. Are you viewing this as a showtime game, like a chance to shine on the big stage against the old opponent? Um, yeah, uh, like I said, it's, I think Brennan got a, he said it last year, it's a unique situation where you come up and play against a team that, you know, that you love, you're a life member, nine years there, you love all the boys and you hate to see them lose and if it's against us then, it, then it, that would have to be because uh, we're going over there to get the four points and hopefully we'll come away with it. Has, has Sandra used you at all for inside knowledge on Carlton this week? Uh, not, not really. Um, most of the boys are coming up and asking how a few boys are playing and and the hip, hip taps with all the ruck and the midfield and all that kind of stuff. But 
Not really by Sando. Are you, how are you going with Tex back? It's his first, it was his first game last week. You must be really excited about going forward, playing alongside. I am, I am. Uh, it's, it's looking like our forward line's coming together now. Um, you know, we waited a long time for this, for Tex to get back, and he's played one, and he played, uh, played a really good game, and hopefully he can continue that. And, you know, I think he might be going with a little bit of nerves this week too, because what happened last time at the MCG. So hopefully he'll just go in with a, with a clear mindset and um, play well. There's been a lot of talk about the Triple Towers. Are you happy to have the three up front? Uh, yes, I am. Um, I'm used to uh, leading up and taking grabs myself at Carlton, but now we've got the, uh, the three, big, three big towers, as you said. Um, it's always good just to get to the front, and uh, if they don't mark it, they're bringing it to ground, and me and Charlie can uh, do our work at ground level. Are you confident the Crows can have the consistency this week, because that's what you've lacked throughout yeah, the season? Yeah, well, that, that's what we're working on. Uh, we're taking it week by week. Um, you know, the first uh, three weeks of the season wasn't, wasn't good, and then um, we won a few of them. We lost against Melbourne, and, you know, the players were shattered, the fans were shattered. We, we, we owe it to ourselves, we owe it to the fans, and, you know, just uh, going into the Collingwood game, um, just to look in everyone's eyes, you know, they, they wanted to win and they wanted to do it for each other and the fans and, and the coaching staff and I think we have to go on with that mindset, you know, every week that we want to win and we want to come away with the four points. What's your thoughts a huge on game for, Sorry, sorry. Uh, a huge game for, uh, I guess, not only you personally, but a chance for the team to get into that positive win-loss ter territory for the first time so far this year. Yeah, well, we want to get on a, get on a roll and uh, keep the form going. Um, you know, we were three, three in a row until the Melbourne game and, you know, we... To lose that game really, really hurt us, and now we've, we've got to do it again and try to get on a roll. And we're doing all the all the right stuff at training and in our game plan, and hopefully we can get back on a roll. What's your thoughts on the racism debate that's sort of engulfed the AFL in the past uh, two days? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, I thought it was gone last year, to be honest. Um, you know, with the with the goods goods incident, but you know, it's it's still out there, and it showed in the last last week, I think, with um, Goodsy and and, and Jetta. Um, you know, it's only a few out there that um, need to be educated. I mean, um, it's, it's, it's pretty tough, like, yeah, it's, it's a tough one, but I think, you know, we just got to get on with it now and just, uh, just play footy and, and, you know, concentrate on winning, winning this week. Do you like McLeod's call for the, you know, the say no to racism round? Yeah, um, I, I didn't speak much about it. I've, I've seen it in the paper this morning. Yep. But um, it's, it's an interesting one, um, but it's, it's good. Um, Andy Max uh, obviously brought it out and... You know, it's around where, not obviously it's indigenous around, but for no no racism in around. That should be every week, to be honest. Yep. You know, but as as you know, it's still out there. Want to stay connected with the crows? Like us on Facebook.